last day of my vacation. And yeah, I go back to work tomorrow, which I'm not looking forward to and stuff, but you know, it has to get done. So I'm going to head downstairs, eat some breakfast, and initially, like, there was, like, a chance that I was hoping to just do nothing today, because the day I thought I was going to do nothing, there was an earthquake that scared the living daylights out of me. So today, I think I'm just going to go to Conference House Park, which is my favorite park in all of Staten Island, and then, you know, just take it easy and everything, see how it goes. I'm here at Conference House Park. I just love that there was space right here for me to park and everything, but so that's to say that, yeah. So, so it's funny that I'm right now able to look up at the sun because this is of course the day of the solar eclipse. Now, now admittedly that like, like um, even though it would be cool to be able to check out the solar eclipse, there are reasons why I'm personally not going to be able to check it out. Look, just when I was talking about it, someone chalked this out, referring to the solar eclipse. But I said all that to say that, personally, I'm not going to um, view it, only because of the fact that, like, one, I plan to go back to work tomorrow. And it would stink for a shuttle bus driver to be blind the day before he's supposed to go back to work, number one. And number two... I could frankly catch another eclipse and everything. So, you know, I'm not too worried about it and everything. Like the last one, I hate the day that it happened. I had like a major headache and everything. And, you know, I wasn't able to, like, well, I was able to see everyone's reaction on TV and it was awesome. But basically, that was that. So, you know. I love Conference House Park. It's at the very south end of Staten Island. I'm basically right by the Outer Bridge. And, you know, all together, I could just simply go by this nice little beach area, which is my favorite area in the entire park. And, you know, just enjoy it because this place is just so beautiful. Like, whenever I'm on vacation and everything and I'm not going somewhere, where, like, I like to take advantage of just the beauty of Staten Island because I still say this is the most underrated and underappreciated borough in New York City. Some people would argue that it's the Bronx, but they completely forget about Staten Island. Like, even Go Go Super Toe. I'm sorry, it's true. But yeah, I said all that to say that, yeah, I just want to be able to just relax and enjoy myself before I go back to work tomorrow, which I'm not looking forward to. Just like, there's a group in front of me. And I'm just gonna just try to pass by them before um, I walk by the beach. They went up to this pier, which um, if y'all recall, I was able to do a live stream um, there a few months back. I think it was about a year ago, I don't recall. But yeah, just gonna head down here. I put, like, this in Great Hills Park has two of my favorite beach areas on Staten Island. Because unlike South Beach and Midland Beach, it's not crowded. It's not clean, but it's not crowded. But, you know. And yeah, I'm going to be wearing these shoes tomorrow. And everything, so. Yeah, I'm going to need to get some of the stuff off. It's just something about being here. Nice relaxing waves and everything. And just, just enjoying it. Like, I wish more areas in Jersey City was like this. There are some, some places that are nice. Like, um, the gated community over by Cabin Point, for instance. Like, like, I love dropping off passengers there because like, when I got no other passengers, I like to just wait there for a few minutes and everything. And, you know, you know, like, honestly, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for me trying to focus on the positives with my job, then I would just be thinking about the negatives and I'd be like, when's my next job? Uh, like, I need to look for something else and everything. Like, there's badness and there's, there's there's things that are not okay in even the best jobs on the planet and everything. There's a lot of negatives. 
But I try to find the positives as best as I can. Nice little view of this place in New Jersey. Everything. I forgot what it's called. Like, if someone could tell me in the comments, that would work. Like, yeah. Ugh. All together. Uh, now look, like, uh, it, this vacation has been nice. Like, honestly, one of the best vacations I've had in a long time and everything. For my next one, I think I want to, just for a night or two, stay in a hotel, which, which, you know, honestly, I was, I had thought about doing that initially for this one, but then, like, circumstances wouldn't let me, so, without going into detail, I hope my circumstances change, change, um, and everything for my next one, and stuff, but, you know, like, like, for highlights for this one, for me, like, driving a Tesla was awesome, um, um, you know, just being at home, being able to relax and everything, um, I also love that that I was able to see to you know just lay in bed and watch movies and you know I didn't play that much video games this vacation like I was able to play Mario Kart on my 3DS but that was really it and norm no, but normally I would be in, in, on my laptop playing like Sim City 2013 or Age of Empires 2 and everything I'm not getting the fourth one like if I was to get a newer AoE, I'd rather the definitive edition of AoE 2. Ooh, like, um, I've seen some reviews on the fourth one and everything. It doesn't look bad. It's just, I don't know. Oh, first off, it took all that time to be able to create the new game. Now, if, if you know... If you know Age of Empires, you'll get this reference. Like, I feel like they were building a wonder while trying to fight off a wolf while trying not to get converted by an enemy's monk. Like, it took so long and everything for them to make it and everything. And, you know, oh, oh I haven't seen that much reviews on it. And I don't know if I'll get it, but it kind of depends and stuff. But all together... <sighs> It's just so relaxing here. I wasn't going to be outside for long. I mean, out here for long and everything. Only because I got some laundry to take care of and everything. And normally Mondays is not my laundry day. But, like, there was something going on with our dryer over the weekend. So we had to make repairs and stuff. And, yeah. Just going to head to Sonic. And then I might just relax at the Arthur Kill station and everything while I eat. And then basically that's it. Like, yeah, I just wanted to be able to get out the house and move around a little bit. I did move around some yesterday because um, yesterday dad and I, um, we went out of town just for a little bit and everything because um, like we was taking care of something and everything. and. You know, that was basically that. And, and yeah, not a lot going on today and everything. Like, a slow day for the last day of my staycation. Just a few hours before the eclipse, which, again, I'm not going to see. Like, y'all can make arguments against it in the comments, but y'all gotta understand, like, like when when you're on vacation... And for over a week and everything and even even if you don't necessarily go anywhere there's still you still got that much money to spend and stuff uh, and you know want to make sure that I could be able to work tomorrow so I'm sorry for the eclipse but there will always be another one I'm still at Sonic at the old car hop like why do they still call it a car hop even though they don't use roller skates anymore but I saw that to say that I got cheesy tots I got um a hickory barbecue chicken wrap wrap and 
Um, it almost reminds me of the barbecue wrap they used to have at McDonald's. And also, I got um, cheddar poppers because you know me with jalapeno poppers. But um, I forgot to also order the chocolate chunk brownie. So the, um, so the cashier is going to get it and everything. And it should be ready soon. I just finished the wrap. It wasn't that big. And I was right. It's literally the snack wrap they used to have at McDonald's when I was a kid. Which was good. Like, I don't know why they got rid of that. Like, that was the only thing that was worthy of eating at McDonald's and everything. Like, like um, but yeah, it's gone. But now the, um, the Sonic Blast should be here. In fact, I think this. Okay, so I just had, so, he, um, the blast just came and everything, and from another cute worker and everything, but all together, that's it. So, I'm just gonna relax and just continue to enjoy my food, and that's it. The eclipse, um, is over Mexico as we speak, so basically it should be here in about another hour or so, but it's actually starting to get darker, so... Yeah, in the meantime, let me just do some laundry and I'll just watch it on the news. Well, we just seen it on the news and we felt it in the area it getting dark. And yeah, some of my neighbors was able to look up in the sky and everything. And, you know, it was just really something to see. It was really something. It was awesome. So, yeah, basically that's that. So it's a little bit after eight o'clock. I'm gonna go to sleep at around 10 o'clock. And yeah, I got a Benz tomorrow, 834 PWW wipers, which that's a good van, you know, just gonna head there and, you know, just see how it goes. Cause tomorrow I'm gonna be working for around seven hours. And yeah, I'm kind of scared with working long on Tuesdays. Only because of the fact that I like to be over by, I just like to be parked by 11 o'clock. So that way I could be able to schedule for work for the following week because I want to be able to get a good amount of shifts for the next few weeks and everything. Like still working Tuesday and Wednesday, but you know, lately I've been needing to work longer shifts and stuff, but altogether that's it. Going to go to bed and... Um, yeah, um, also, um, you're also welcome to download, to download my book series, Raymond Waters Imagination. You have my first book, Imagination, then my new one, Imagination at Sea, which came out last week. Um, not much reviews on that yet, or at least last time I checked, but who knows? Like, it's definitely a lot of good content in store. And you're also welcome to become a Patreon member just for only a dollar a month. And, you know, here's some of the behind the scenes content and of um, pending projects that I've been working on. Stuff that I haven't mentioned on YouTube or Twitter yet. yet. But it would kind of explain a lot of the artwork that I have on, on, D, on, on Dream Journal Art Gallery on Instagram. But either way, that's it. See y'all later.